If you're the curious type like us and want to know a little bit more about how hot air balloons work, of course the best way to do this is to experience the wonders of ballooning for yourself. Bill Harper's Balloon Safari Ski Boat Country Base is situated near Hartebier Sport Dam, 45 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg's northern suburbs. You can join one of their expert pilots and take to the skies while enjoying stunning views of the countryside. In the northern sector of the cradle of humankind, Gauteng and Northwest Province. And uh, over there are the oldest mountains in the world. Uh, I don't know how many million years old they are. I tried to count the rings, but I, I couldn't quite get it right. But they're millions of years old, and I'm the oldest pilot in South Africa. <laughs> And it, we fly in this valley because it has some of the m most reliable ballooning weather in the world in the mornings. So that's something that uh, South Africa can brag about. It's just mainly this area, further south, north, anywhere else, not quite as good. And that's why we chose to set up our operation space and everything here. How do hot air balloons fly? A hot air balloon is lifted from the ground by a pilot aiming a flame into the mouth of the balloon, filling it with hot air. As it fills with hot air, the balloon will slowly lift off the ground. Forecasting is very, very good, but we need some very, very finely tuned weather forecasting. So although we have the aviation weather forecasting, we have the radar facilities and all of that, we have to watch it very, very carefully, looking out the window, looking out to see what's going on, because it can be just one little part that isn't quite right. So if the pilots are not happy, no problem. Cancel the flight. We can... <laughs> so if the weather isn't right, the pilot is welcome to cancel or cut the flight short. We don't just do it for the sake of doing it. The idea here is to give you a great time, a memorable time, and a happily memorable time too. Learning to pilot a balloon is much like learning to pilot a plane, with the only difference being the study of aerostatics rather than aerodynamics. The regulations are less for a balloon pilot license. To pilot a hot air balloon, you do the same course as pilots of anything of a helicopter or of a fixed wing aircraft. You do navigation, meteorology, air law, uh, um, medical, and we do uh, aerostatics instead of aerodynamics. That's the only difference. And uh, to fly, you need about 15 hours of experiential training and then you pass all those other subjects and then if the examiner says you've passed then you can go out and scare yourself silly on your own but the thing is that uh, you can't fly passengers or certainly not for our company until you have a lot more experience it usually takes two or three years to get enough experience to fly with our, our business commercially experienced pilot like the ones employed by build can control the path of the hot air balloon Doing this requires advanced knowledge of the direction of the wind, as the pilots cannot just steer a hot air balloon in the direction they choose. In the morning, the air is generally calm and stable. Later in the day, the sun shines on the earth, heats the air up at different temperatures. Some of it's rising, some of it's falling. You don't know which way it's going. And the balloon, although it's huge, is just as sensitive to the air as a little piece of thistle down floating on the breeze. So we have to do it early in the morning when we can rely on what the winds are doing. Learning to fly a hot air balloon is not straightforward. You really have to commit to the idea of ballooning. There are very few places that you can learn without owning a balloon. And when you do get your license without a balloon, there are even less places to rent a balloon from. With regards to training new pilots, we're quite active now because at last we've got permission from civil aviation to do proper authorized training courses and we're getting quite a lot of young people now learning to fly we were also um, working with a, a scheme to help some of the local people a bit of a pda thing to get them learning to fly and one of our employees um oh tendai Ms. Rewa, she, she's learning to fly here and we have another two from other other parts of the countryside and they're, they're learning to fly hot air balloons as well what looks like effortless magic at work is actually the result of simple science, allowing travellers to enjoy beautiful views as they drift through the air. This is my first time um, coming here. Um, I've always wanted to do it and I'm glad that I came through and did my first hot air balloon ride. 
and how was the experience? It was great. It was awesome. They took us above the cloud and you could see the clouds below you, the sun. It was, it was fantastic. The exceptional piece of this unique and utmost supernatural hot air balloon world will forever remain truly amazing. For Morning Life, I am Tapelo Moel.